said girls that have red hair can't wear red because all I'm gonna say is this. I look good. <laughs> this is my face without a filter. <laughs> Como ya la vi, solita, pues me pregunté ¿Qué pasa cuando me bailó? Cerquita, eso fue descomunal Dale, dale, tra, tra, tú sabes cómo es Cómo se lo más Hello and hello, welcome back to Time with Tally. I have a video for you today that was requested on my Instagram story. If you don't have me on Instagram, I don't know what the hell you're doing with your life, but you should follow my Instagram. That is actually where I post on my stories a lot of the time. I will ask the people or my followers that I have there at least what they want to see on my YouTube. So I got this request from one of my followers on Instagram and I thought honestly, it'd be a great idea. I would have so much fun with this. It's crazy because in my previous videos, I noticed that for some reason my face looks super blurred and I was like, oh, is there like a little smudge on my camera or something like what's going on and I didn't really realize that on my camera when I put in the settings the first time when I was first learning how to use my camera and I'm still learning it has this um soft skin effect so it actually is an automatic filter on my videos I started to realize that's a little bit too much I don't care to have that many filters not because I think I'm the last coca-cola in the desert or anything but I want you guys to see me and yes I wear makeup I wear lashes I do my hair and do these things but I felt like I looked like an alien a little bit in my previous videos with that effect on. So now you're just gonna see me without it. So <laughs> this is me. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Currently my hair is pretty dirty, so I thought what better day to do this and do five different hairstyles in my hair than my wash day. There's no better day, because now I can just get it as dirty as I want and either way I'm gonna have to wash it at the end of the day, right? These hairstyles will also be good for people that have curly and or straight hair. I have both. I have naturally wavy curly hair anywhere from like a 2A to like a 3B C pattern. I don't have just one pattern, I have multi-pattern curls. So this works for me on those days that I have my natural curls out and or the days I decide I wanna straighten my hair. If you do it curly and and straight each of these it's technically 10 hairstyles however you want to look at it i don't care amor es saber que hay que esperar el tiempo que sea ni lo vamos a contar solo quiero ver que algo pasará tú solo dime que yo ando ready te llego allá Okay, so I don't know what percent of the population I fall under that can never get the messy bun right, but I'm in it, okay? I make a part of that percentage. Literally, it's on the days that I don't look in the mirror and I feel like I don't even wanna put any effort in whatsoever that the messy bun comes out right. But every time I try to get it right, it comes out disgustingly ugly and I look like Miss Trunchable. Well, as you already know, it's a, it's, it's a messy bun. <laughs> So for this one, I will loop it around twice. And then as I have this open here, I'm terrible at this. I don't do tutorials well. I loop it around twice, leave it open here. When I come back, I flip the ponytail forward and only go about halfway. And then I take whatever's left in this ponytail, you see the end sticking out? And then I tuck it back into the elastic. And I want it to be a little bit messy, honestly. So we're gonna play around with it in a little bit. And if a couple pieces come out, then that's fine. I'm gonna fiddle with it for a little bit. Hasta las nubes, mientras bajando la vibra sube Dime qué vamos a hacer, yeah. dime qué vamos a hacer yeah. Cuando me dice, oye papi, más cerquita Nada es pena que se quita Tu sonrisa es mi favor I will say because I do like to keep this style pretty loose. It's not really my favorite for, let's say it's a day I do cardio or something and I'm like running around. It's not my favorite for that. The bouncing doesn't really help, you know what I'm saying? And then sometimes just for extra special effect because my hair does get pretty big because I have a quite a bit of hair. I pull out two pieces in the front like that. I make like a little triangle right here and then I go right down the middle, split the triangle and then separate the strands. Use as little or as much hair as you want. I think I'm good there. And I also like to take a little bit of this out. So this is the final look. I do like a bigger messy bun. I don't mind the planet Earth on my head. But if you like it smaller, of course, make the ponytail smaller and just keep pinning and doing whatever it is that you have to do to make it a little bit more to your head size. I have a fat ass head, so I'm going to make it fat. Again, I also do this with my curly hair as well. So it's like really cute when like these two are actually curls. Oh. <laughs> 
And the reason I'm so particular about mentioning the fact that I do this also with my curly hair is because I've always felt that every time I watch someone give me some type of hairstyle tutorial on how to do this certain hairstyle and all this stuff, I've always felt it's always someone that already has like very beautiful straight slash wavy voluminous hair that was already blow dried or curled or something or straightened and it never came from natural hair. And I'm not saying because right now my hair is blow dried, but I want to just remind you, you can do it with your curly hair as well. Of course, different textures may take more time and some more product but I want to reiterate you can do this with curly hair as well just it depends on the look that you're going for I guess it also depends on your length of hair as well I remember seeing all these tutorials about girls doing their hair and they have literally extensions in or their hair is down to their kneecaps like just because you see those online doesn't mean that you can't do it on your own hair we just may, may have to take a different route <laughs> to get to the same place final result again I can't do it with the strands out but sometimes I just don't feel like doing it and that's okay my hair is growing y'all if I'm her I can just say that so the next one I really just make a bunch of different variations to it so the next one is a low pony but the cool thing about the low pony I feel like there's lots of variations that I do with the low pony specifically and I'll show you what I mean crusty dusty musty ass lips over here this is the low pony the cool thing about the low pony is that one you can put the strands out or you can put them back it doesn't really matter I have a big forehead so I like to give them a little bit of a curtain you know what I'm saying give an illusion it's a pretty what's the word I'm looking for steady or like a strong hold of a hairstyle so let's say if I were to lift or you know go running or whatever it may be like it's pretty secure that's the word i'm looking for it's pretty secure so i'm not too worried about anything going anywhere and it's versatile if you had an accessory like for example what i have in my gym bag check out the next video i have a crap ton of clips hold on Example, like let's say that day I'm doing squats right and I can't have my ponytail under the barbell I'll just be more at risk of hurting myself or my hair getting yanked actually anyways if you know you know I'll either keep it like this or I can just throw it up I'll twist it up grab whichever one of these well, it's one of my favorites I just take it like that and I'll clip it up it falls into however it's gonna fall it's usually chilling and that's fine too. Or I do one of these bad boys where I twist it up, right? I don't know if you can see that. And then I keep twisting and bring it back down. So take that little end that sticks up, keep twisting, and I bring it back down and tuck it into the ponytail right under here. And then I clip that around it. And that itself kind of gives you like a little, a little tiny baby bun, I guess. I'm a nurse, so I also use this look at work all the time. Or let's say you wanted to have an upper body day. Let's say you're going to use a bench, right? And you don't want this clip on your head and you don't want to lay on it because as us girls know, when you're on a bench or sitting on something and either way your head is on something, these clips can break with too much pressure being put on them. And it's also just not comfortable. So I'll go from this, twist, 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 twist. Wrap it around, wrap it around, grab another elastic. And you got a slick low bun. Cute. And this, honestly, this look right here, I end up using this look quite a bit because it's great for cardio, lifting, benching. It's probably the safest one of all. And then of course, sometimes I put the strands back, you know what I'm saying? These, I just like them. I feel like giddy up, you know? <laughs> 
I need a sea kilt. That was a slick little pony. So what I'm going to do now is one that's probably a little controversial for some people. It's just one that a lot of people would be like, why? Why would you do that? And I'm gonna tell you why in a second. So my hair obviously is dirty right now, so it's not gonna look like it's freshly done or anything, but sometimes when it's freshly done and I'm feeling good about myself, I like to go to the gym with my hair down. That's it, freshly styled, because who cares? If I know that I'm actively gonna go sweat and probably ruin it, why does that matter? I'd rather go sweat, ruin it, and look cute for the workout. <laughs> and make myself feel good, then put it in a bun and put a bunch of product in it and it's dirtier faster or have product build up faster than me just sweating in it. Do my curls come out at the end? Does, does my hair get frizzy at the end? Of course it does. That's why I always got one of these bad boys. And I also try to do this thing where I don't care what people say about my hair being a mess at the end. I don't care. As long as I got this, if there's a workout that I'm doing that I feel like my hair is gonna be in my face, then I'll put one of those in. Or I'll take one of these and I'll put it up. But sometimes, it's perfectly okay if you want to go to the gym with your hair done and down, period. So the next one and the last one, it's kind of the best of both worlds. So I like to do a half up, half down. So that way I get my hair out of my face, but I still get some length, you know what I'm saying? but I kind of love it. <laughs> so the cool thing about wearing any of these hairstyles to the gym is guess what? They don't have to be perfect. They're likely gonna get messed up anyways. Unless you're one of those that you have to have your hair like literally not move, you know, cause I used to put in so much hairspray that I literally was like, no, I don't want to see any frizziness, something like that. I personally, I just don't care. I'm like, I know this is probably not gonna be like this at the end and I'm okay with that. It's like a warrior's badge. You know what I'm saying? I usually will wear this hairstyle when my hair is a little bit more clean, of course, because technically it still is down and like the greasiness in the back, you can kind of see it. I do wear two strands down with this one at times as well, but I just didn't feel like taking out two strands again, so. <laughs> Oh, also, don't forget that when you do the high pony, there's plenty of girls that also do a braid in the pony, by the way. Just remember that any of the things that I show you, you can make them your own. Do braids, do pigtails, do space buns, whatever it is that makes you feel good. Because when you look good, you feel good. Or at least it's something that might help. And I feel like when I look good, I feel good and I perform better. I train better, train harder. Sometimes I even tell myself, I'm like, I don't wanna leave here looking cute. I wanna look like a sweaty dog. That was all for today. Thank you for spending time with me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye.